I'll move to the next slide, which is the edit model tools. So these are the tools which are uh, used to edit the terrain model. If you want to delete any extra triangles, any extra vertices, so you can delete them with these tools. So I'll be demonstrating all of these tools. So starting off with the delete vertex, delete edge triangles, swap lines, insert vertex, move vertex, delete triangle bar lines, and the last one is delete features. So delete feature, as I've uh, shown in the first part of this presentation, is very similar to removing features. So I will demonstrate all. I will go ahead and switch to the software. So here I am in the software. So before using the edit tools, I have to make sure that I'm out of the command and the triangles should be displayed. So I'll go to the properties and I will turn off the spots. So the spots are off and I will turn on the triangles. So here I have the triangles and the editing tools are under terrain. And if you go to the edit, here we have edit models. So as you can see here, we have all the tools. So starting off with the first one, which is the delete vertex. So in the delete vertex, you can delete uh, the vertex, which you don't want to be a part of the train model. So all you have to do is select the tool and select the train model, which you want to edit that. So I've selected the boundary for this terrain model. So I can come on the any vertex that you want to delete. So I'll go ahead and delete this vertex. So as you can see, all I do is left click and that vertex is no longer a part of this terrain. As you can see, it has been highlighted as a white symbol. So that is the graphical representation of which vertex is it is accepting. So right now, as you can see, white spot is there. I'll select that that word X is deleted now. So I'll go to the second one, which is the delete edge triangles. So delete edge triangle is the one which delete the triangles on the edges only. So as the name says, so if you want to delete any triangle which are on the edge, it will help you to delete any of them. But if you want to delete any triangle which is inside part of the train model, it will not allow you to delete it. You can do it with other tools. So delete edge triangle. I'll select that. As you can see, it highlights the triangle, which I can delete and is a part of the boundary. All I do is one left click, and it will again start with the new boundary location. And you can delete the triangles which are on the edge. For example, I'll do this one. All I do is one left click, and that triangle is no longer a part of the train model. So you can also play with the major ones. I'll delete that one. And as you can see, it has updated. I'll delete this one and this one is updated. All right, so I'll go to the third tool, which is the swap line. Uh, so swap line is the one which will swap the lines, uh, the, the train lines. Uh, right now is it, it is in the horizontal position. So if I'll select the tool and click on this, you can see it is now being in vertical position. So you can, if you want to make changes on any of the train lines, you can use this tool as a swap line and make changes accordingly. All right, so moving further, we have the fourth tool, which is the insert vertex tools. So insert vertex tools is the one if you want to insert a vertex between any point. So if you see, once we select the tool insert vertex, it gives you a prompt to use the face elevation. So if you want to use the face elevation, you can check this box in. If you don't want to use the face elevation, you can check it out. So for this demonstration, I will be needing the face elevation and I will be placing one vertex here. So as soon as I click it, and you can see this is now a vertex with a face elevation. So you can place as many vertex uh, you want with this tool. I'll go ahead with the fifth tool, which is move vertex. So once you select the move vertex, you can again see one option, which asks you to use the face elevation. So if you check that in, it, it will stay as on the face elevation and it will only move. So for example, this one is the point which I have placed. I have to move this point into another location, but with the original 
elevation. So I check that in, I will move that somewhere else. And this is now located on to a new spot with our original elevation. So you can use this tool to move the, the vertex. I'll go ahead with the second last tool, which is the delete triangle by lines. On here, you can delete the triangles with the line you can draw on from the edges. So for example, these are the extra terrain which I want to delete. And all I do is select the delete triangle by lines. And I will draw one line outside of the train model and I will bring that line inside. As you can see, the all the triangles are being included while I just draw the line from outside to inside. So if I just leave it, you can see that all the train edges are being deleted. So you can tie up your train model with this too. So if you want to delete this part, you can do it this way. You can zoom in and further delete the triangles up to the limit which you want. So you can make the uh, train model tidy with this tool as well. So the last one is the delete feature, which I've shown you. It is a similar one as the removing features. So this covers up with the editing tools. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.